If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Today on the Moving Picture Review, we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be reviewing a podcast. Now, the Moving Picture Review channel, of course, primarily focuses on games, movies, and television shows. But I came across this podcast the other day, and it's called People Who Knew Me. And I just found it so fascinating and interesting, I knew I had to review it. People Who Knew Me tells the story of a woman, Emily Morris, voiced by Academy Award nominee and Golden Globe and Emmy winner, Rosamund Pike, who uses the attacks on the World Trade Center on 9-11 to fake her own death and run away to start a new life in California under the name of Connie Prynne. Fourteen years later, Connie Prynne is diagnosed with breast cancer. Now with her 13-year-old daughter, Claire, by her side, voiced by Isabella Sermon, Connie must confront her past so that her daughter will not be alone if she does not survive. She must decide how to explain her lies, her secrets, her selfish decisions, and ultimately her widowed husband. Everything she thought she had fled from when she pretended to die in New York that day. This is the first audio drama from the makers of Bad Sisters. People Who Knew Me is a ten-part series written and directed by Daniela Isaacs, adapted from the book by Kim Hooper, and stars Rosamund Pike, Hugh Laurie, Isabella Sermon, Carl Soler, Alfred Enoch, Daniel Isaacs, and Jessica Darrow. Now, I found this to be a fantastic, well-told story, excellently soundscaped and grippingly plotted. It's beautifully acted, and it almost reminded me of the old serials, where a story would be told only on the radio. Now look, the plot is fundamentally a simple one, but the script is on point, it's tense and it's so well paced, and Pike sells the story of Connie and, of course, her former self, Emily, so brilliantly that I found myself completely and utterly absorbed. Each episode is no longer than 15 minutes, but it just takes you on a journey, and you can almost imagine yourself watching these people as you now partake in a daily activity, listening intensely to their stories. The character of Connie is a bit spiky, and we really don't know why she disappeared. Then you, Laurie, appears in episode 2, and just adds a bit of gravitas to this fantastic story already. The show has been meticulously produced. There is no flat in-studio sound, no stock atmosphere, not a single unbelievable piece of dialogue that's written down. Everything sounds very much alive, and Pike is just so great. She's sharp, she's seductive, she's bristling with fantastic tension as she perfects her wonderful American accent. I mean, when you realize there's nine executive producers in all, seven people on dialogue, this is really a big production for a podcast. In audio format, it can be hard to know whether or not you'd want to stick around and invest in these characters, but you can be rest assured by this phenomenal voice cast, particularly Pike's captivating performance, that she adds the much-needed compassion and humanity to this very complex character. With her subtle voice cracks, pauses for breath, and voice filled with complex emotion that makes for a compelling listen, it's clear that there's been huge trauma in Emily's life, and it is not hard to be drawn to her as you strain with every sentence to understand her story deeper, and see why she has lied like she has, and you decide whether you believe she's right or wrong. You almost feel like you're eavesdropping on her private thoughts and feelings, and the audio medium offers a much more intimate look than television maybe could ever do. The question, of course, will remain is whether Emily is a likable character. At times, she's selfish, closed off, and sarcastic. Emily makes for an intriguing figure, I've found. What could happen to someone if they felt the need to use 9-11 to their advantage, you'd ask? Perhaps more haunting is the fact that this is particularly based on truth. Some probably did use the terror attacks as an escape route out of New York at that time. For example, Snenna Phillip hit the headlines in 2021 for this very reason. Her husband reported her missing on the 11th of September, and he never saw her again. And for me, that's what makes people who knew me so haunting. It's a type of drama that leaves lasting impression on you, as you find yourself sort of in conflict, understanding why such an enigmatic and divisive lead character would pull you in so much. But that's exactly why. She's human. She can be a coward at times, but some other times you also understand and see why she feels the way she does. Writer, director and co-star Daniela Isaacs has penned a masterful script and created an unsettling atmosphere and produced a piece of work that really demands your attention. As I said earlier on, I'm breaking within tradition here of the Moving Picture Review channel in reviewing here a podcast, but it was just so well done, so well put together. And with its fantastic voice work, particularly here from Rosamund Pike, and a nice little fun performance from you, Laurie, People Who Knew Me is definitely a podcast not worth giving a miss. People Who Knew Me gets a 9.5 out of 10.